What's up guys, so it's time for another feeding video. This one will be for the month of October. As you can see, the Dubias, I just tossed in a bunch of rabbit food not too long ago and they have pretty much devoured everything. Water crystals are a little bit gross but that doesn't hurt them. But anyways, let's start the feeding video, shall we? Alright, let's start off with my curly hair. The elbow pelosum. Uh, oh, let's wait. You're gonna get it? Why are you coming here? No, the roach is in there. Ah, what are you doing? The roach is in there, and you decide to attack my tongs. Let's try this again, shall we? Come on, don't make the first video disappointing. Grab it. There we go. Good girl. <laughs> Wonder why you didn't take it in your hide. Very nice juicy roach full of gut load. And there she goes. Up next is the Samopos Cambridgei, the Trinidad Chevron. Let's do this. Oh, okay. Some fang action there. Is that blood? Oh, looks like blood. Oh no, it's just the color of the tea. And that'll be good. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, here's my Lassiodora Klugi, the Bahia Scarlet. Whoa. <laughs> that was quick. You gotta love your Lassiodoras, man. These guys are, whoa, look at the Groach juice. Nandu Tripepi, Tripepi, I don't know how you say it, but Brazilian Giant Blonde. Whoa, it's food, not a threat, come on. It's food, you don't want, you don't want your roach. Oh, there you go. I thought it was a threat, come on man. It's roach, it's food, look at the juice. Monocentropus balfouri, the Socotra Island Blue Baboon. This girl doesn't really like roaches, but let's see. No, you're not going anywhere. Come here. Yep, told you. B classy, Mexican pink. That ass dough. Damn fat, man. Gonna lay off food soon. I mean, she's not eaten for a month. And her abdomen is still fat as hell. The roach is screaming for help. It can discourage geniculata, the Brazilian whitening. There we go. Here's my Nandu Chromatus, the Brazilian red and white. Oops. Ah, I just missed the attack! No! <laughs> I was disturbing the roach and it came running out and she grabbed it straight away. It was a very, very fast takedown. Oh well, here's my Ophonopelma Simani, the Costa Rican Zebra. Whoa. Have you grabbed it? Yeah, now you have. Oh, it's... Ouch. Right in the head. Did you see that? Head juice came out. That's nasty. Okay, so this corner and this corner are done. Now we're gonna move over to this corner. First one is my OBT. There she goes. Back into her lair. Now it's my injured Brachypelma Bomi. She's doing pretty well, but we're still waiting for her to molt. I think she's in pre-molt. Not wanting food? Are you in pre-molt? Yeah, because she did eat the last time, so I'm guessing now she's in pre-molt since she doesn't want to eat, so let's leave her be. Fingers crossed that she'll go through a successful molt. Give this video a like because one like equals to one prayer. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the next one. Ah, one of my favorite old world genus, the Kilobrachis, and this is the species King Crochon. 
Oh my gosh. What was that? What was that? <laughs> now you see why they're my favorite. Apart from them having a voracious appetite, take a look at the webbings they make. And this is only after a couple months. Well, probably not as much as the GBB, but that is still pretty impressive. Okay, down there you see an Ornithoctonus oreotibialis. This is the Thailand Golden Fringed. Um, did you get it? It's just being defensive. No, you did not get the roach. Come on. Why are you being defensive? Do you not want the roach? Here. Ah, uh, fine. I'll feed you another time. Okay, here's my pumpkin patch. Please eat for me. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. That was a nice takedown. Okay, here's Gramostola pottery, the common rose hair. Ah, right off the tongs. Mexican golden red rump. There we go. This is a Ternochilus lugardi, the uh, Fort Hall baboon. Ah, I took it. There we go. Tapinakinius gigas, the orange tree spider, or the orange chevron. Ah, you're not interested, huh? Yep, look at that black butt. Probably in Primo, most likely. This is a Nandu carapuensis, the Brazilian red. Okay, let's see if my Haplopalma Minex would like a juicy roach. Um, the roach is over here. Here. Whoa. Wow, very gentle. You wouldn't expect a Haplopalma to be so gentle with their takedowns. But there you go. Here's my Singapore Blue. Nice. That roach is done. He's done alright. Look at those fangs. Look at his roach. It's just full of gut load. I can't even... He's literally hard. Oh, poop. Here's my Cantuscoria Chaquana, the Bolivian Pink. in primo you don't refuse food usually ah oh, get off ah oh, come on this girl's not a happy camper just offered her food and she goes into threat mode oh well no food for you for this month let's see if this janiculata wants food whoa <laughs> yep mysore ornamental Yeah, Stromatopelma calcietum. If this guy escapes, that will not be good. Yeah. Threat mode, of course. Yeah, I won't disturb him anymore. Because these guys are very, very fast moving and very potent. So, I'd best leave him alone. Alright, here's my Gramostola Pulchra, the Brazilian black. Male, unfortunately. But my friend has a female, so hopefully we'll be able to pair them in the future. Okay, this will be the last tea to feature today. This is my Neo Holotheli Inse, the Trinidad Olive. The size of a bottle cap, but a very stunning species indeed. So um, yeah, that's it for today's video. Quite a few of them recently molted like last week. My Sable Awesome is one of them, so we'll not be able to feed him, I mean her, this round. I'll maybe do a separate feeding video just for those who molted. I'm not sure yet. If not, then 
you'll see them in the next feeding video next month. So thank you guys for watching. I don't want to make this video longer than it already is, so I'd best end it here. Alright, catch you guys later.